morning. Just gone quarter past nine. Uh, back down Elmbridge for another day session. Uh, arrived around about, I'd say about 45 minutes ago. Been having a good chat with a few of the lads who are fishing the uh, the match up on the Herring Pool, which is the uh, the lake right at the end of the uh, the lake here and the back of the bank. A uh, bit of frost present. You might be able to see a bit of cat ice there in uh, one of the many, many puddles scattered around the lake. But yeah, I've had a good chinwag with uh, one of the lads called Jim, who uh, he fishes here virtually <laughs> every other day. He's uh, he's quite a regular here, and he's told me to just get slap bang in the middle of the dam today. It's the deepest end of the lake. And another thing he told me: forget putting any bait in or little bags. It just spooks the fish off. Certainly this time of the year. So uh, can't ignore that. So I'm slap banging in the middle of the dam, and I'm fishing single up baits. Uh, I've done a tweak to the left and right hand rod. Uh, totally got rid of the coated braid now and they're uh, both presenting fluorocarbon hook links, uh, size 10 hooks on little blowback rigs. Uh, the left hand rod has got two bottom baits on a 4G squid and a coconut cream. Right hand rod's got two coconut cream bottom baits and the middle rod uh, sticking with the old multi rig with the uh, citrus pop up which incidentally within 10 minutes of uh, casting out I've had uh, a couple of bleeps. Uh, there's a little bit of cat eyes still dotted around on the lake but uh, the sun's up, it is fresh, certainly where I am because it's uh, quite shady but uh, I'm quite confident that the, the remainder of that cat ice is going to uh, disperse during the duration of the day and hopefully one of those rods is going to produce me a fish. Sticking to the same uh, tactics of casting quite often, so around about every 15 to 30 minutes, moving the rods around, and Jim told me that as well. Uh, he fishes down here quite a lot on the tip, and he says by moving the rod around, you tend to know where the shoals are, because you just get plenty of movement on the, on the tip, obviously. I won't be getting many, uh, much movement on the tip, hopefully on the alarms. But yeah, I'll be moving the rods around and just fanning the uh, fanning the three rods out, fishing roughly at the same range, I'm not chucking out far. Most of the lads who fish here, it's a commercial fishery, they don't chuck out far either when they fish the pellet feeder or or such like. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to fish at the same range. Uh, I haven't seen anything show yet. I'm the, the only one here, once again. That's one of the, <laughs> the beauties of fishing in this place. Uh, in the week, there isn't a sole present which uh, suits me down to a T. So, yep, yeah, that's the scene at uh, coming up to 20 past nine. Wonder what's in store today. I've got till half past three, quarter to four to find out. Kettle's calling, so I'm off to make a brew. Catch just up your life. It's 20 past 11. I literally just re spotted the rods, put the kettle on, made myself a nice cappuccino. I've uh, sat back, and the first fish of the uh, the day that I've seen on the entire lake has hoiked out literally inches from the right hand rod, uh, and he's belted off. Two uh, 10 mil bottom baits, coconut creams, on, uh, on the fluorocarbon rig, and I can easily say that's the biggest fish I've caught in uh, all the trips I've done down here the last, uh, what, back end of last year and the start of this year. So I think we'll get this one out and have a good look at it in front of the camera. Chuffed a bit. There you go. Not the biggest fish in the pond, but makes all the effort worthwhile. Right, I ain't going to muck about, get it back and get that rod sorted. Chuffed. I'm just taking one of the rods out to respot. And whilst I have, I just thought I'd show you the rig. This is the uh, fluorocarbon rig which I tied last night, which I'm using on two rods, which, are, which is the one that's done the bite in its simplicity itself. Uh, I don't know there, maybe you can just about make that out. I don't know, eight, maybe nine inches, possibly ten. 
of uh, fluorocarbon hook link which is um, a low diameter one made by Tasca. Uh, I'm using a Fang X size 10 barber suck. There's a barber roll on this lake. Two coconut cream bottom baits. Uh, I've got a shrink tube kicker and a little piece of uh, shrink tube just to keep it keep the hair flush against the shank. Uh, Nash Klingon putty, both ends, and I've got uh, an anti tangle tail rubber there. This particular one I've got an inline set up, on the other one I've got a lead clip. Uh, just mixing it up, I don't think it's really going to make uh, much of a difference on this venue. Using uh, Nash TT rig tubing, which uh, blends into any bottom. And just to uh, spice up the upbait, the old Nash booster juice. Fantastic, just glug it, put a little bit on the hook link and single upbait, perfect. Well, we're getting very close to packing up now, approaching three o'clock, and uh, the left hand has rattled off. Another fish on uh, the fluorocarbon rig. This one was caught on two little 10 mil 4G squid bottom baits. Uh, I don't know, about three or four pound. But that's the second fish of the session. It's great fun. So, uh, unhooked him in the uh, in the net, got the rod sorted, and back out on the spot. Who knows, we might even bag one more before we leave. But uh, so that's two fish so far. A mirror and a common. Great stuff.